that. Hey. Yo. Where do you want to start working on that Casablanca skit? I never make plans that far ahead. So excuse me if I'm finding it a little bit difficult to find a way to properly and efficiently introduce a film as large and significant as Casablanca. Okay. Now leave me alone. Matt? You do you know that school's that way, right? How's that Casablanca project going? How's the uh, Casablanca project going? No! <laughs> I'm so excited for Plastic Movie Night at the North Park Theater. How's the Casablanca project? How's that Casablanca project coming? as time goes by. You must remember this A kiss is still a kiss A sigh is just a And it's all coming back to me now. Casablanca is one of the earliest movies I can think of that has a distinctive theme song in As Time Goes By, performed by Dooley Wilson. As Time Goes By is so memorable and so deeply associated with the movie that it was voted number two out of 100 on AFI's 100 Years, 100 Songs musical countdown. And despite As Time Goes By being inextricably associated with Casablanca, as time goes by, it was almost replaced by another composition from Max Steiner. The argument for replacing As Time Goes By was that As Time Goes By was already present in a 1931 Broadway musical called Everybody's Welcome. Fortunately, Ingrid Bergman had already gotten a haircut and started acting in an entirely different movie after the scenes with As Time Goes By had been recorded. So As Time Goes By was left in the movie. And now we see and hear scenes with As Time Goes By in Casablanca today. We also see As Time Goes By playing in all the Warner Brothers films introductory segments. Casablanca is said to be one of the greatest representations of a Hollywood studio film. One of the ways in which Casablanca shows this is through the fact that the only original set built for Casablanca was that of Rick's Cafe. This fact shows us that Hollywood had mastered its magic as early as 1942 by making reused sets feel authentic and new. I see very few reasons not to watch Casablanca. It entertains and educates people in the romanticized history that their grandparents would love for them to know. Hold on a second there. Casablanca may be quite romantic, but that doesn't mean that all of its history is romanticized. The tears you see in the eyes of the actors during the famous Battle of the Anthem scene are real. People of over 34 different nationalities worked on this film, and that means that many of them, because they were European nationalities, lost their homes, possibly family members, or state of comfortable living to the Nazis. Conrad Weiss, the actor for Major Strasser, was one of those people. After a Nazi death squad was sent after him because of his anti-Nazi activities and having a Jewish wife, he decided that he would use his acting skills only to portray Nazi villains through the World War II era in order to make all of those Nazis look as evil as possible. While the letters of transit on which the film's plot is based may be complete works of fiction, those letters of transit allowed for a great film to be made, a true classic, Let's take a look at Casablanca.